What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and today I've got a video for you that's not exactly the most applicable to everyone, and you'll probably only ever need this video once if you're having this issue. So currently, if I were to take my phone and plug it in using this flimsy cable, you'd see that it will get recognized in a few seconds, and when it does, it'll pop up onto my screen, say I were to touch the cable ever so slightly, boop, it would disconnect and disappear, touch it again, and it might reconnect, might do this multiple times, and there we have it, it pops up yet again, even though there's absolutely nothing in this folder, my phone is currently in charge only mode, and there aren't any files for me to access on my PC. So why exactly would this be an issue? Well, during normal use, it probably wouldn't be an issue. If it has a really bad cable and it keeps connecting slash disconnecting, then it may be an issue for your PC if it keeps popping up. But for me, it was especially an issue because I'm playing full screen games. Boop, I bump my phone charger cable ever so slightly. Bam, I get tabbed out, presented with the screen over here, and I've probably lost whatever progress I was making in game. So how exactly do you go ahead and stop this from automatically popping up? As you can see, there's nothing in here, so it's not automatically popping up like a CD or a DVD. Well, if you thought that, you'd be wrong. It is because of something called autoplay, and it's super easy to turn off. So simply press start and type in autoplay. In fact, just typing in AUT made it pop up autoplay settings. Go ahead and open this up. And over here, you'll see a removable drive memory card followed by two names. Now, for me, my phone is named something very random. I don't know if it's specific to my phone or its model, but it's a super long string of random characters. All you need to do is find out which one is your phone. If you don't want this happening for any devices, you can go ahead and click on all of these drop downs and set them to take no action. If you go for ask me every time, it'll pop up in the top right of your screen saying, hey, do you want to take no action? Do you want to open it up with Windows Media Player, etc., etc.? And that may end up tabbing you out or distracting you from whatever you're doing. So for me, I just set it to take no action, as well as the second one to take no action. Close this, and if I simply were to unplug the cable, you can hear it disconnect. Plug it in yet again. You might be able to hear it connect, but actually nothing happened. I'm still on my desktop, nothing happened. Do it again, tap the cable, it just happens to disconnect, reconnect, and that's it. It does absolutely nothing when you connect it or disconnect it. Of course, if you actually want to browse to your files, you can simply open up your file explorer and go to the device itself on the left hand side and you're back to where you were before. It's just not automatically popping up onto your screen. Anyways, my name has been Technobo here for Troubleshoot. I hope this video helped you in some way or another. I'll see you all next time. Ciao.